so far we have seen how we can start from a belt drive and arrive at a gear tooth profile called involute and how such profiles called conjugate profiles engage to give us a constant velocity ratio and a positive drive. Now we are going to take a closer look at their contact geometry. So let us start with two pulleys connected with a cross belt like this and we are going to draw a line connecting their centers. Wherever this line intersects the belt we will call that point P and this point divides the space between the pulleys in a fair manner. We will call this point as the pitch point. Then we are going to draw two circles passing through the pitch point and therefore we will call them as pitch circles and these represent the territories of the pulleys without one violating into the other. But for engagement of the gear teeth each one needs to reach out into the other's territory and make a contact. So we will draw two more circles with additional material and therefore they are called as addendum circles so that they intersect and create a zone between them where the contact can occur. The two involute profiles will make a contact within the zone trapped between the two addendum circles like this. And because these two involutes are traced by the same point on the belt, they will make a contact there. And as the point moves along the belt, the contact will also move along this straight line. And therefore, this is called as the path of contact. This is divided into two parts. From the beginning of the contact till it reaches the pitch point is called the path of approach. While from the pitch point till the contact is lost, that part is called as the path of recess. The length of path of contact represents the length of the belt that is getting unwound during the contact and therefore it directly translates into an arc length of the pulley. This arc subtends an angle at the center which can be projected onto the pitch circle and if we know the spacing between the teeth along the pitch circle, the so called circular pitch, then we can find the average number of teeth in this zone and these will be the number of teeth pairs making a contact on an average. So this is called as the contact ratio. A contact ratio of 1 says there is one pair of teeth always in contact. Typically a contact ratio more than 1 is desired. Say a contact ratio of 1.5 would say that half the time there is one pair of teeth in contact but during the other half there are two teeth pair in contact. So the average works out to be 